effective is the combination of your main product and ancillary texts. How and why is having a house style or brand identity important when creating multimedia products? I think that having a brand identity is a very important aspect of music and artists, as it allows the audience to notice and recognise them. Andrew Goodwin wrote about what thought beats and step two is about the voice of the artist. Style is related to this as singers like Lord and Florence and the Machine have recognisable voices. But artists don't have this advantage and so creating a brand to go with their music helps them promote themselves and become recognisable by visuals. In business term, a brand creates loyalty and trust and I think this can be related to music videos and their artists as if there is brand identity, you start to understand the art artists more and the audience feel more connected to them creating a trustworthy relationship. How have you created brand identity across your music video, digipack and website? After researching into the drums in their music video, I noticed that a lot of their videos were filmed outside. In the Blood Under My Belt music video, Johnny holds a red flower in his hand. I thought this would make a good place to start in linking their old music videos with their new ones. Bath studies semiology, which is about science and their meaning. Although the red flower in their music video doesn't have any major connotations, it acts as a signifier for the audience, as they can recognise this within the drums video, in my music video and the digipack I created, and on the website. I had, I had the lead singer hold the red flower and I decided to use this as my front cover of the digipack. I uploaded a still of Johnny holding the red flower and had this as the background image of one of my website pages. This created a brand within my products and as the audience would recognise a direct link between the products. Another style I decided to have running through my products was bold colours. For example, I found that the ba band generally used bright colours in their music videos and old album artworks. Their most recent album was black with red font. So throughout my music video, I made sure that it was sunny and so the colours in my background and the clothes the actors were wearing were bright and therefore fitted with the style. I had stills of the Blood Under My Belt music video, which was a video all in front of a green screen, which was edited to change colour. To then run with the style, I borrowed the green screen from school and took pictures of the artists in front of it, in different positions. I then eye dropped the exact colours from the stills from the Blood Under My Belt music video, which meant that the style was exact throughout my digipack on website. This recognisable link with the products means that the website is promoting the album, as the homepage of my website is the same pink as the digipack front cover. Something I struggled with throughout the researching of the drums was their lack of conventions as I found they never had a theme throughout their products. By creating the Scrabble logo, which although doesn't link to any of the other products, but links all three of my products for each of the... The drums usually create an album and everything in that album follows their conventions and the next album then has a completely different style. And so I followed this idea with my products, and this meant that they had a house style as all the products contained the Scrabble logo, which acted as a font as such, as I could make it smaller or larger if I wanted to, and therefore it could fit any of my products. The reason I came up with the Scrabble logo was because in the video the children play with the Scrabble pieces, and so I thought, and so I thought it would follow the simplistic theme of indie pop brands. Also, the Scrabble pieces are childlike, which links to the video and to the childlike behaviour of the band in their other videos. The font on my website was called Din Text Light, and this was the font I chose to use throughout my digipack and website, as I didn't use any text in my music video. I also capitalised the font, as this was something I found the band did in most of their titles. While their main body of text was in the same font, but in lowercase and uppercase, until the normal, using the normal sentence structure. Luckily, the same font was on Wix.com, which meant that there was a house style within my products. I kept my text white, as this followed the drum style, as their website contained white text. I used the grey box under the text on my website so that the text could be seen and I also did this on my digipack, again creating another link. I decided that I would need some grey boxes to go underneath the track list of my digipack. I tried to make the grey similar to the grey of the pavement that the children cycle down in order to create a link between my music video and the digipack. I decided to keep it a fill colour rather than add a gradient or something like that as I wanted to make sure it fitted with the house style of bold block colours. I added the lighter grey colour to give the shapes more dimension. The dark grey colour uses my CD colour, the spine colour and the boxes on the website pages. Again, using the eyedropper tool to make sure they were all the same. How do you think your digipack, will How do you think your digipack design will sell the song slash album to the audience? I think that the design of my digipack will help sell the album as it is bright coloured and I personally like to look at pictures that catch my eye. As my target audience is teenagers, I think the bright, almost pop art colours 
of the Digipack are eye-catching and therefore new fans as well as old fans will pick it up. Another way I think my Digipack will sell is because I use child actors and a teenage audience like myself will see the front cover and think that it's quite sweet and cute, which will make them want to buy it. By having the children on the Digipack it will make the audience want to find out more about the actors and therefore watch the video of them messing around. I think that my product will sell because I spent a lot of time designing and making my product to make it look professional and also getting feedback from my target audience. The Digipack contains the people in the video and so after watching the video and noticing the similarities between the Digipack and the video, they'll pick up the album as they want to listen to it. I also made sure that the product was of high quality and I think this is important in attracting an audience. Personally, when I think something looks tacky, I won't buy it, so I made sure my product was of high quality and looked like a real product as this is something that makes it sellable. How do you think your website will sell the Digipack to the audience? The first thing that my website does to sell the Digipack is by having the same coloured backgrounds as the Digipack. By having brand identity, it will help sell my product as it creates a brand image as the fun quirky side makes it appear fun to the audience. The clear continuity throughout my product would help each item sell each other. Neil's genre theory suggests that the genres are created, develop and then go into decline. I think that by creating a digipack and website that are closely linked, I have developed the genre as indie pop, and especially the drums, I found were not very popular in the UK. A lot of my target audience didn't know who they were. By, by developing some of the conventions of the genre, I think I attract a larger audience. Neil describes how codes and conventions are shared by producers and audiences through repetition in media products. I think that I have achieved this in my website and digipack as they repeat the colours in the same fonts. By having the album front cover and the words new album out now on the music page it creates a platform for the audience to go and buy the product as they can click on the album and they'll be sent to the Apple Music to buy it or they can listen to it on Spotify. By making it easy for the audience it will sell the product. I think having a user friendly website is also very important as having aspects such as navigation bar and having links to each page and different websites such as social media makes the whole experience of the user better and more attractive. Asking my audience, I know that they like the website as it was easy to use and because they like the design and how realistic and professional it looked. Although the website uses images of the band, the Digipack and website follow Jenkins' idea of fandom as the children look like they are recreating the video or copying the band. I've also become what Jenkins calls a textual poacher as our idea... I've also become what Jenkins calls a textual poacher as I, as I have taken ideas and designs from other artists' websites to make my website more realistic realistic and professional and act as a promotion for the website. What elements of your website and digipack communicate the genre of the music video and the style of the band? The drums band lack conventions as they didn't have the convergence across their earlier media products. The most recent album shows synergy as they share fonts and colour schemes. I therefore in my media products have synergy as I wanted them to link and show that they are from the same band. Indie pop is normally about vintage and retro. I followed this by having a pop art style digipack and the background stills on my website are from the blood under my belt where the band are holding 90 sport equipment. Although I didn't use images that had sepia effects, I think the bright colours make the digipack and website have a retro feel to it. The outfits the children are wearing in the video, and they're from the digipack, are bright coloured as well, and again adds to this retro feel of the band, and therefore follow the band's conventions. Their older music is more about vintage with sepia overlays, etc., so I developed their new brand in my digipack and website. Indie pop culture is about having fun, and being individual and I think I've achieved this in my website and digipack as the use of children and colours adds to this effect. The digipack is simplistic, a convention of the drums and their album artwork, but it isn't something a lot of popular bands and other artists do as they have filled them with information. I think having a simplistic feel to the digipack is actually harder than filling it with information. If there were, some of the if there were more images of the band online by themselves then I probably would have um, used a CPR or vintage effect, but a lot of the band members left the band. If there had been a lot more images, I would have had a, I would probably have picked a more vintage style approach to the whole website and digipack, as indie musicians are known for creating indie videos and album covers. A lot of indie musicians don't have a website and only use social media, so I struggled to find indie pop artist websites conventions to follow. My digipack and website show the band's images style as I have used positive colours and also the inside of my digipack has the drummer and guitarist pointing at each other with their tongues out which links to how the bands are seen in public as being fun and new and exciting. 